Alright, what's up you guys? Because always welcome back to the OU game versus Milky and her well, let's just face it, her EV team, which was phenomenal. This was actually a really, really tough game. And from the look of it, one wouldn't think it would have been. Oh, it, it's literally a post -com. Like I said, this week is going to be covered by battles that aren't necessarily recorded as I made them because I screwed that up. But basically, I felt that, you know, there is no ground type here, there is no ground type of Orion, so circuitry works well. Just volt switch and make that work, basically. But. It turns out, and I really can't stress this enough, that my opponent here had a vision in mind. And if that vision didn't work, <laughs> then I don't know what did. So anyway, my opponent leads up with Joltia, which I think is fair. And my lead here with circuitry is doubtful, to say the least. Um, I actually decided to go for a Dazzling Loom, I think, or Energy Ball, just to get some damage in there. And it turns out that, uh, well, I do roughly half, but uh, she goes for Agility. And here's where I basically no, no, there is no way this is a bad and pass team. What do I do if it is? And I just felt this is so problematic. Um, and my opponent goes for bad and pass, and I was like, yeah, there is a small chance I'm gonna get destroyed this game if I don't deal with the um, Sylveon well. Sylveon is probably the demand that breaks my team in half, and um, my opponent actually decided to bring Sylveon. This took some time. There are a few are situations just like this that are. There's a lot of thoughts going into these switches, but Sylvia was the switch in, and I was thinking was, this is at least good. Um, if I can defeat Sylvia, that would be phenomenal. But there is no way that uh, Circuit is going to be that much. So I was leveling here. I felt not just upon where the salt first should be able to chip it down, and um, I think it. Play rough for liquidation to do just fine. So my opponent goes for Calm Mind, and I do a bit of a misplay here. I actually decided to go for a Waterfall or Liquidation over Play Rough. There was no reason not to, because Vaporeon was always going to be a very good switch in. More so if my opponent decided to bat and pass here, and um, then I would have an absolute of problems. Um, so I think my opponent did level back and forth uh, of what she wanted to do. She knew this was a situation that could backfire. And uh, I think eventually she decided to go for another call of mine, probably on the feeling that I would belly drum, uh, which I think is fair because if you break that right, she could just bat and pass uh, Sylveon's boost to the Vaporeon. So, like I said, this there are a few situations like this where I'm going to really think about it, but she did decide to go for call mine, and um, I was just happy because I was really stressing out that I didn't go for play rough. And this liquidation turns to be enough to KO. So that was great. I definitely appreciated that because I think, all right, I don't need to come in a situation like that again. And since I am, my opponent doesn't know it, but I am a solvist. So Sylvia or Jolteon comes in and I was thinking, I could awkward jet it and probably kill it, but do I want to risk it? I do have safe switching, so I've just, yeah, let's go steal it. It's safe. There is no way my opponent goes for agility. If she goes for something, it's going to be an attack. No, she goes for agility. And I was like, oh my god. I swear, I have avoided this situation, and now I'm getting punished for it so much. <laughs> so I was like, what do I even do? I do initially go for toxic here, mainly because I think Vaporin is the only real good switching. Um, there's no downplay really to... Um, well, going for a toxic anyway, and Vaporeon does actually come in, and I was like, all right, all right, all right. What do I do versus Vaporeon? I'm pretty sure this is the Acid Armor variant. It's got a bad and pass it even further. So I do recognize that there is no way for me to go for body press. It will better. It actually will be very problematic if I decide to take the route. So I did think Brawly, I didn't think Consight. And uh, I think just the situation made more sense, mainly because of Leapstorm. And maybe I think I'm breaking apart for there. As like I said, the, um, the acid armor made sense. So, yeah. Not gonna lie, this was kind of a low point for me because I do kind of feel that there are switches here that I don't want to deal with. And I don't want to deal with either Umbreon or Espeon. So I decided to go for Leapstorm here. I was kind of hoping my opponent went for. Another acid armor, sadly that didn't happen. And um, you guys are gonna see something marvelous. 
I never fared in my life a Flareon. I, I, I never, never wanted to do that. But that ended the day because Leaf Storm is missing, which it shouldn't have done a whole lot. But just that it didn't do enough was basically enough for me. Just like, oh fuck it. So here's the thing. I have Dragonite, Dragonite can do a lot of damage and um, I just wanted to chip this thing down um, but my opponent goes directly for Fire Fang and it turns out it's enough like it does so much and it's not even boosted I was like that doesn't make sense that's a Fire Fang it has to be banded so with that said I thought alright fine that means at least you're locked into that I can just go for a Dragon Dance I know you're plus two so I just need like two Dragon Dances and I should be fine and um, say so we'll break one law in bad and pass we can always break the dynamax rule too right and that's what we do so here comes the dynamax flareon and still i don't fear this mon i don't i had no reason not to fear the flareon you, you know that feeling flareon is not a dangerous mon it's not broken it's not busted it has actually max strike, so I can only assume it's a quick attack variant. And it does alright. Marvel scale does put me off the worst of it. The issue with that is that I get a minus one speed, so the Dragon Dance doesn't necessarily negate my boost. So, I was feeling, alright, we're gonna have a situation where she just keeps boosting. And uh, she actually goes for the max knuckle here instead. And uh, now she's plus one, still doesn't do anything. I am in a situation where I can't roost, I kind of figure that's probably what I want to do. And then Dragon Dance again. Um, because I can waste this Dynamax form. So with that in mind, like now I Dragon Dance, because um, I pretty much figured out you probably want to go for Max Knuckles, right? And uh, so now she's plus two. And I know I don't have speed because she got a plus two behind her. So I figured, alright, let's go for a one more Dragon Dance. Now she can't negate my speed. And uh, since I am plus two after this Dragon Dance, I should be able to probably just win the game as is. Um, and things got weird. Not only am I faster, which by the way, it's fine. Farfang is not going to do a whole lot. Unless it crits me. I survive it. But I get burned. And die. This is like the worst turn I ever had. I never felt safer, yet I just got ruined. So this took a toll on me. I was like, yeah, at this point, I I hope I can survive Fire Fang. I abandoned, that is, Fire Fang with this and just kill it. All right, I, I have no idea if this is going to work. Fire Fang comes. It's an absolute blow, but it doesn't kill, which is nice. This liquidation is gonna absolutely annihilate. No, it didn't. Fucking acid armor. <laughs> so you guys understand what type of pressure I was in. Unfortunately for me, I do get to kill and you know, kind of recover. But that was. Um, I, I can just say like this in the live when I recorded this, which with the microphone didn't work. I was basically like, I, I lose here. It, the game is over. But. We turn around somehow, my opponent goes for Nasadama. I'm just fearing this is gonna start all over again. Player of is not gonna do a whole chunk or do as much as I wanna do. And I realize that I am an absolute awful spot. And uh, my best way of breaking the remaining mons is actually just sending in circuitry and um, break apart the remaining mons basically. And uh, I would be lying, but at the situation I am in, I did survive two scenarios of absolute damage output. And um, there is nothing left on this team that can perform that role for my remaining mons. I'm, I'm at this point rather safe. It is in, if Umbreon or Espeon has something weird that I can't predict, and that's fine. But at this point, I feel safe. I do decide to go for Energy Ball or Thunderbolt because the Jolteon is still active, and quite frankly, the Jolteon is still active. Like that's enough. I don't want to bring that guy any kind of recovery or Volt Absorbing. So we get recovery or get a boost, the beast boost, and um, I shouldn't need to explain this. Like circuitry has been an absolute powerhouse in my games, and it's probably done more work than I anticipated it to do. 
but it also says more volumes of the ability beast boost it's just phenomenal but with that said i'm just gonna wrap the game up here really i mean at this point there's nothing really stopping circuitry and uh I want to really thank my opponent Milky for this game. It turned out to be a, a lot tougher than it should have been. And it only made the game better for it. So as always guys, thank you for watching. And uh, hope you can bear with me with these post combat battles. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, take care everyone. Right? Bye.